still having a hard time out there. I got a striped sea perch and some babies. And I'll show some videos uh, at the end of my prior sessions. I've already posted those clips on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Swim bait, somewhat weedless. Dude, that's a lot of seaweed, a lot. Not fishable, not fishable, man. Oh yeah, got me some good seaweed there, buddy. If I get this one back, I'll be surprised. That's it, man. Bent my hook out, and I lost my lost my uh, swim bit. All right, different beach structure has changed quite a bit, actually. Huh? It's normal, but it's changed a lot here. Let's see. It's a deep hole way down there. It used to not be there. I can see it from here. There's a lot of surfers though. About three hours after the peak high tide. At least there's no seaweed. Seems like good conditions for this lure, but I don't know. Nothing. Nothing on the Kalisa again. Straighten it out a little bit here. I think it'll still hold as long as it's not a huge fish. Should be fine. All right, let's give it a shot. Never try to swim bait out here. Two ounce egg weight. Oh, yeah, I see the seaweed there. I see it, man. This is probably gonna be my best chance. As long as there's no seaweed, or very little of it. Let's see. Yeah, I have seaweed. All right, I'm gonna start heading back. I just went ahead and left the egg weight on the bottom. And did a dropper loop. Just to save time, usually I want a uh, disc weight though on the bottom. Just wanna see what happens this thing. Less likely to get stuck. There's a hit. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Good fish. That's why I did it like that, man. Yeah, I tried different stuff if one way's not working. Good fish. Good fish. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, dude. You know what this is? This is a striped sea perch. It's been a long time. Pretty fish. Very pretty. Stripe sea perch, man. Ugh. I'm kind of in a rocky area. So, a lot of them here. Ooh, come on. Come on. All right, nice. I'll let this one go. Pretty fish. 
very pretty. Been struggling all day. The dropper loop. It's almost peak low tide. Almost. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Gotta be more. Got to be. Come on. Come on. Small. Yeah, feel small. Small fish. Got him though. I got him. Silver. I don't know. Sorry about that, dude. There you go, buddy. Little guy. Another little silver. There you go, Benny. Just those. I'll end the video with those clips. I tried for stripers kind of early in the season. Uh, didn't get anything, just jack smelt. But I did get a 15 inch uh, barred surf perch one day. Stripers are definitely be coming around now. It's March, and there'll be more as the year progresses. But, um, Anyway, thank you for watching. All right, it's about two hours after peak high tide. Give it a shot. Gonna start off with my minnow and sandworm. Both gulps. Got him. That's a pretty good fish, actually. Loosen it a little bit. Wow. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish, man. All right. Big surf perch. All right. Come on. Come on, buddy. Big one. All right. Finally, man. Sand worm. Whew. Whoa. That big fish. All right, nice. Yeah. I think we're going to keep this one. That is a big perch, man. Let's see. Zero. 15 inches, man. Nice. Not too bad. All right, it's cast master time. Gonna try to get some stripers. We'll see, it's a little early, but give it a shot. I'll throw some sand worms and maybe a sand crab if I don't get anything for a while. But for now, Definitely gonna try my cast master. It's a two ounce one. I like the two ounce. All right. I gave it a couple hours with the cast master. Do the high low rig with sandworms, a gulp red and camo. I'm gonna make another dropper loop. I just want to put another another bait on. Pretty easy to do. There's a couple different ways you can do it, but this is the easiest way, at least for me. Maybe one more. Take this in, put it through. Got to wet the line, always. Another dropper loop. Give it a shot. I want to use a gulp minnow, actually. These guys right here. All right, that little guy there. Give it a shot. There's a hit. Come on. 
Come on, man. Another hit. Baby. Baby. Got him, got him. That's not too bad, actually. Not too bad, dude. All right. All right, man. Yeah, man. Oh, no, it's a jack smelt. We don't want jack smelt, man. Come on. All right. All right, jack smelt. And he swallowed it too. Alright. Think it'll be okay. He probably could even make it from here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. Another one. Hopefully it's not another jack smelt. Feels like a jack's mouth, actually. Maybe. Let's take a look. It is. Another jack's mouth. Oh man, went for the uh, swim bait. Uh, went for the minnow. Interesting. Huh. All right, jack's mouth. All right. Only deep hole. There you go. Got him, got him. Decent one. All right. All right, dude. It's not huge, but it's a fish. Exactly where I thought he'd be. Man, the tide is really low right now. But, it's a fish. Yeah, a little surf perch, I think. A little baby surf perch. Woo -wee. Come on, buddy. Or is that a jack's mouth? It's fighting kind of like a jack's mouth. No, not another jack's mouth, man. It is a jack smell. What? Where is it? Yeah. Dude. Nothing but jack smells today. That's all there is. Jack smells. Alright, buddy. Let him go. Oh. Hmm. Sometimes you can find baits stuck from a snag. Sometimes. I want to go out to that flat that's a little deep right here. A little deep. Yeah, that's pretty deep. It's pretty deep, man. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, dude. 